Hello YouTube and welcome to another video of Battlefield Bad Company 2. I'm Insane Acorn and this game is a little... Well, I wouldn't say it's a good game, I'll just say it's a bit of a mess around because when I was playing it, I just didn't exactly feel like playing seriously. I just wanted to relax and uh, take it easy and try something new. So I decided I should uh, see how effective uh, AT mines are against MCOM stations. I know some people like to use... Uh, AT mines at MCOM stations, but I've never really come across a match where someone is against me and using AT mines to blow up the MCOM stations, which is really odd because after playing this, I realised they're a lot better than C4. I mean, yes, you can't use the assault kit, you know, you can't have an assault rifle with your AT mines because uh, that's just weird, but if you're playing an engineer and if you want an automatic rifle, or whatever, you want a, a machine gun of sorts, then the all kit weapons like the G3 and the Thompson um, they're not as good as any of the weapons you have as stand, you know, they're not as good as any of the SMGs you currently have. I mean, the Thompson's, I like the Thompson, but uh, it's just it's, it's, it's my favorite to run with the recon, but as an engineer, you just kind of want to run with some of your default weapons, so try doing that, but anyway, yes, you can. Point out in this game, AT mines I think are so much better than C4 because if you watch in a minute, I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to chuck these down. He's going to arm it and he's going to die, but I chuck down some AT mines. They're still firing at us, well, at me. He's dead. Uh, they don't, they don't manage to hit me, but they manage to hit one of my AT mines, which then blows up, which then blows up the AT mines around it, which then does a ton of damage. As you can see, I got the destruction there. I was like, it's been what a couple of a minute or two. And I've already destroyed the MCOM station. That was like amazing. Sure, you get a suicide, but I'd rather have a suicide than letting someone else get a kill. <laughs> That's just me. Like, if it's like the same with you putting C4 down you and everybody's shooting at you, and you just put it on a tank and you're thinking, I want to get this tank. I don't care if I die, I just don't want anyone else to get, kill me. So you kind of blow up and suicide. But anyway, I've found that it's very handy. I don't do particularly well in this game because um, I just couldn't be bothered. Like I've been playing for a while and I've recorded a few games but none of them are really worth posting up and I get stuck on terrain here, I hate that. So I've been playing it I've been playing against these teams for a while and I thought they're not that great. We're not that great either, the team I was playing on, but of course it about it switches around every now and again, so I thought I could probably get some AT mines down and slip in through their defence because they were really trying to push forward and have a really forward defensive line, which I don't know. Like you can have a, a forward defensive line, but if everybody's trying to defend where the attackers are coming from, then if someone slips through, you're basically done for. So I don't like having like a, such a, a forward defensive line like that. But uh, some people like to play like that, and some people don't. But anyway, on to another topic, well, yeah, another topic, I guess. Um, I've been looking at how many whiners there are with people like complaining about MCOM stations, like they don't have enough health, uh, there's too many people playing with C4 and blowing them up and there's destruction. And to be honest, I think that's just completely sad. There's just... Uh, so I'm not trying to insult you if you, like do, if you like whining about stuff like that, but, you know, it's a game and it's a valid tactic. If... Like, you're supposed to be defending and the people are supposed to be attacking. In the actual uh, in description of the rush game mode, it says you can either blow them up using, well, by arming them, uh, using, to see, using explosives, or blowing up the building, something like that. That was one hell of good reaction. Like, did you see how f that guy just kind of walked in and whoop, bam, straight away? I think it was a no scope. But anyway, carrying on. <laughs> um, they, it, it's just, I've been looking on the internet, I wanted to see how much health an MCOM station had and I never found out but I could see loads of people complaining that the, the MCOMs were being destroyed too quickly because people were just running in, planting C4 and getting out. I mean, that's your fault that they're getting in there. If you're not playing well as a team and you're not designating roles to people, like you're not telling them, you're not having some people defending the objective and then some people pushing forward a little, then it's your own fault for letting people get in through. It happens to me quite often and I think, well done, they've managed to get through a line, uh, they've not got caught and they've managed to blow it up and get away with a load of points. Fair enough, they're good players if they can do that. So I don't see why people keep complaining 
Uh, Destruction 2.0, that still takes time to plant all the C4 or mines or whatever you like uh, on the building. I mean, the amount of time it takes to blow up a building with C4, it's just stupid. I mean, you have to place it on strategic points and then you have to resupply and then you have to place more. Uh, if you've got, if, it's, if you're just one person, anyway, if you've got like a whole team, then they're easier to spot and to people to, uh, and stuff like that. So I don't see why people are complaining about that. One thing that uh, is kind of valid, I guess, is tank sniping. Like people sit on top of that hill at the start of this match and just shoot away at A with the tank. And yeah, that people I, I can see why people get pissed off at that. But a, a, the better way to deal with that would be to ha run an engineer kit with a tracer and just fire away because tracers don't have bullet drop. They they are faster than they used to be with the recent update. And people and your whole and your whole squad or anybody I think I think anybody in your team can lock onto them once uh, they've been attached. So there's nowhere to hide really if you're in a tank. I mean I've is it, what what Laguna Presta is it something like that? I can't I can't remember all the maps or if I'm pronouncing it right or whatever. But um, that map has a great uh, spot for tank sniping like just on the path, but it's so obvious and people can just. Snipe, uh, people just take you out straight away. So, yeah, I think the only thing that really does annoy me that people do is the helicopter one and the UAV. That is annoying because UAVs are so hard to hit, and then it's right, and the station's right in the middle of their spawn. So, uh, that one I can agree with you, but still, the the chopper one where you get in Black Hawk and you just lob it onto their station and blow it up with some C4. Uh, that can be stopped as well if you've got people with rocket launchers. I just don't get why people keep trying to justify their own defeat. You know, you're not as good as you thought you were. So stop complaining, really. <laughs> and just have fun with the game. It's it's a great it is a great game. It has some flaws. All games do, but they're not going to fix it just because you're whining about it. Uh, I thought what happened to it. I think I get a couple of points. Do I get I get objective damage? Yeah. I, I do die quite a bit because uh, I try. I'm just not trying as hard as I usually would. I just wanted to throw down some mines, really. I like this bit. <laughs> like, if you can steal a chopper, well done. <laughs> it's just, it's basically when you steal a chopper off the enemy team that's defending and has a chopper, it's like, aha, you fail. Oh. So, uh, I was wandering around. We, yeah, me and the teammate was wandering around just trying to find people. It's so hard to find people in this chopper. Like everything's black and white and you can't really see them unless they move or shooting or something. So it's really annoying. Like I'm trying nobody's spotting people as well so I can't see these little red dots so no don't know where to aim and uh, but it was it was a good run. I mean we had a very good pilot. The pilot was doing very well. I mean I can't fly choppers at all. Well, I'm trying. Like I'm I'll go in onslaught every now and again and practice, but I'm not good enough to do what he's doing. Uh, it's just they had a, they had a uh, lucky shot on us, I guess. Like you can see right in a minute, we get shot down. See, so if you've got a good pilot and a good gunner, then you can basically wipe the floor of the team. And this is my favourite entrance into this. Well, nobody ever does that. I don't. There's an explosive crate there for easy access. People aren't watching the walls. They're watching the doors and the windows to go in. So <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that was the perfect duck. I still died, but you know, it was just a great duck. So, uh, there's not much else to talk about on this video. I hope you liked it. I mean, it was quite quite fun to play this and just mess around. As you can see, I've done quite a bit of objective damage there, and I think I destroyed it as well, did I? No, I didn't. I nearly did. But uh, uh, it, it's a good tactic to go in from the roof. So, um, I, The video is about to end, so if you really want to see my score, I've posted it up. I go negative in this game. And I just want to take some time to say thanks to everyone for watching my videos and supporting me. And it's nice to have a, a nice little... It's nice to have a nice... <laughs> how weird am I? It's nice to have a little community supporting me and, and saying what I'm doing right. But feel free to say what I'm doing wrong as well. <laughs> I can take criticism. But anyway, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please rate if you like. Please don't. It would be nice if you did. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.